XXLO Gold Fam, Vince here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, meron na naman tayong i-review na product from Sparkle Cosmetics. Sa makeup routine, Gold Fam, sobrang importante na maganda yung base na ginagamit mo. So today, we will review the Sparkle Cosmetics Concealer Cream. Palaban ba talaga tong product na to? We are about to find out. What are you waiting for? Grab a drink, sit back and relax and without further ado, let's glow! Now let's dive in glow fam. Ang ginawa ko lang sa face ko, ginawa ko na yung brows ko and I use the Sparkle Cosmetics 2-in-1 Eyebrow Powder. On my brows, ginamit ko tong shade na 03, this one. Medyo dark brown siya but since dominating nga talaga yung strands ng eyebrows ko na black, nagmukha siyang parang soft black. Next up glow fam, to carve the brows, I use the Sparkle Cosmetics Lightweight Waterproof Liquid Foundation. Ginamit ko tong mix ng shades L03 and L01 para linisin lang yung edges ng brows ko. Now, before we even use the concealer, Glow Fam, talking about the packaging, wala talaga siyang box, which is, I think, normal for Sparkle Cosmetics, but these products were airtight sealed. Of course, tinanggal ko na yun kasi gumawa ko ng photoshoot for these products, pero never ko pa siyang natatry dahil gusto ko, gusto ko talaga ng first impression kapag nagre-review ako ng mga products. Now, let's talk about the component. This is how the component looks like, Glow Fam. Nakikita nyo, meron siyang parang light yellow na cover in front, meron siyang, I don't know, Japanese characters at ato. Tapos nakalagay lang yung brand name, Sparkle Cosmetics, the color Beauty Concealer Cream. It says here, it's made in Korea. Dito sa side, makikita mo yung production date 2018, expiration date 2021. So I think this is good for 36 months from the open date. At the bottom, you will see the shade name. This one is shade 01. What I like about the component is yung parang glass-like na base niya. Para siyang glass, pero actually plastic siya. Hindi ko alam kung anong tawag doon, fiberglass ba yun? Sound off down below. Now, since wala masyadong details dito sa component ng product, I'm currently checking the Shopee account of Sparkle Cosmetics. Again, Glowfam, if you want to follow Sparkle Cosmetics on social media, everything will be here and linked down below. And if you want to check out other amazing products from Sparkle Cosmetics, you can check out their Shopee account. Just type in Sparkle Cosmetics. Cosmetics is with a K dun sa dulo instead of a C. But then again, hindi mo na kailangan i-search pa dahil I'll have the link ready down below. Looking at the Shopee account, Glowfam, this originally retails for 160 pesos. Pero they are currently on sale. You can get one for 112 pesos. And I think the sale would last until the end of May 2020. There are two shades available dito sa concealer na to, which is shade 01, which is like a lighter beige shade. And this one is shade 03, which is darker. I'm also checking on some specifications about this product. It says here, yung features niya, it's high quality, acne or spot removing, smooth, oil control, silky, transparent, moisturized, natural, brighten, soy milk. Soy milk? Meaning like gawa to sa soy milk? And the rest ng details na nakalagay dito is how to apply the concealer. I think we already know that. It also says here this is good for all skin types. So oily ka man, combination, dry, sabi nila good for you daw to. So oily ka man, combination or dry skin, good for you daw to. What I really wanted to test out Glow Fam is kung gagana ba talaga tong concealer na to. So I wanted to use that alone without a foundation. Pero syempre, magpa-primer tayo and I'm using the Sparkle Cosmetics All Matte Invisible Pore Face Mattifying Primer. So I'm just going to do two pumps. Ilalagay ko na to sa aking face. Habang nagpa-primer ako Glow Fam, gusto kong i-remind kayo na napaka-init ng panahon ngayon. As in so Sobrang init ng panahon ngayon. So, make sure na iinom kayo ng napakaraming tubig to stay hydrated kasi sobrang usong-uso yung mga nahi-heat stroke. Like for me, yung indicators na feeling ko na dehydrate na ako kapag nanunuyo na yung labi ko. Kaya dito sa room ko, lagi ako merong... Uh, ngayon lang ako nag-juice, chamomile juice to. Normally, punong-puno to ng tubig palagi. So, dapat hydrated talaga tayo. And yes, hindi siya baso. Pichel talaga siya tapos maestro. Now that we're all primed up, cool fam, yung difference niya is Yung 01, I think this is good for highlighting. Kasi very light talaga yung shade niya. So, kunyari gagawa ko ng full face of makeup, I'll definitely use this one. 
naman kasi nakaka-brighten siya ng mga dark spots natin like yung under the eyes, yung chin, pwede itong pang-highlight ng nose. In fairness ha, sa formula, medyo impressive siya. I have high hopes for this one. Yung coverage ng concealer na to, it's medium coverage. Again, paano nga ba nade-determine kung medium coverage ba siya or hindi? Dito kasi sa kamay ko, meron akong mga veins. So, kapag nilagyan mo yan ng concealer at nakikita mo pa yung base ng balat mo, or nagpa-pop out pa yung kulay ng nasa ilalim ng concealer, that means medium coverage lang siya. Pero this type of concealer is actually buildable. Tingnan natin, I really hope na hindi siya magkikrease under the eyes kasi napakaganda niya. So far sa kamay ko palang ginagamit pero impressed na ako dun sa formula. Pag sinabi natin medium coverage yung concealer, hindi naman ibig sabihin na pangit na agad yung concealer. So far, sobrang gusto ko yung formula niya kasi nagsiset siya into a powder finish which is really good para sa mga tao na gusto lang ng natural makeup kasi maraming mga tao na pag lumalabas sila ng bahay, kunyara wala ng ECQ, minsan ang nilalagay lang nila concealer lang. So dun mostly nag-work yung mga medium coverage na concealer para hindi halata masyadong nakamakeup ka ng bonggang bongga. So far, I really like the formula. I think hindi siya, hindi siya greasy. Though yung scent niya, para siyang amoy sunblock, pero fresh. Amoy fresh na sunblock. So again, Gulfi, I'm definitely in shade 01 pang highlight to ng face, under the eyes, dito sa chin, sa nose, dito sa my forehead. And again, gagamitin ko lang to kung naka-glam up tayo. But for now, I'm going for the deeper shade. This is shade 03. Slightly deeper siya compared dun sa shade na 01. And ito yung gagamitin natin para sa ating face today. So sabi sa Shopee account nila, you can either use your fingers or use a brush. For me, I'll use a brush. Kukunin lang natin to. So lalagyan muna natin yung ilalim ng ating mata. Actually, medyo bright pa rin to para sa skin tone ko. Tapos later, ibe-blend natin siya using a beauty sponge. So ayun lang, I think napaka-light nito para sa skin tone ko. Pero kung iniisip mo, napakadami niyang laman, no? Feeling ko napakatagal nito magagamit. So lalagyan lang din natin yung kabila. I think dapat hindi masyadong madami yung gagamitin ko. Ikakalat ko na lang to. Kasi nga hindi ko siya ka-skin tone. So lalagyan din natin dito, dito. Medyo pa-sweet lang yung gagawin natin pagko-concealer today. Hindi yung parang bonggang-bongga. Kasi gusto ko nga ng natural look. So itry muna natin Glow Fam yung ganito karami concealer. Tingnan natin kung mag-work to. Kung hindi, dadagdagan pa natin. Pero for now, let's bounce. Okay, so far so good. Nakita ko naman na nabablend yung concealer. Pero of course, pag ginamitan nyo siya ng beauty sponge, yung sponge kasi is nag-absorb siya ng product. So mas namiminimize pa niya yung coverage ng product. So far, it's cute. Brightening effect nandun talaga. Kita nyo naman na na-brighten talaga yung itsura ng face ko. Dahil nga, very minimal lang yung in-apply ko. A little goes a long way naman, sabi dun sa description ng product. So, hindi siya nag-settle dun sa fine lines ko. Dito kasi, syempre, nagkakaedad na tayo. Meron tayong fine lines dito. So far, it's looking really nice. I just hope na sana mas marami pa silang shades na tong concealer na to. Kasi gusto ko yung formula niya. Maganda siya para sa mga parang no makeup makeup look. Kung gusto mo lang na itong concealer lang yung gagamitin mo since napakarami nga niya ang laman. Pwedeng-pwede siya pang mga day look lang. Yung mga parang gusto mo lang fresh lang. But since maputi nga para sa akin to, I think gagamitin ko to para sa mga glam talaga. Yung parang full face na naka-foundation ako and all. So ang ginagawa ko Glow Fam, sinespread ko na siya sa buong mukha ko kung makakaya niya makover using the product na nilagay ko. So now this is how the product looks like all blended out. Ginawa ko na rin yung leg ko. Ang ginawa ko lang, dinip ko lang yung sponge dun sa concealer. Nakakakuha siya ng konting-konting product tapos nilalagay ko lang sa aking leg. What I like about this product is hindi siya greasy sa mukha. Para na akong feeling ko parang nakapowder na ako. Ang lakas niya makafresh. Though hindi siya full coverage talaga. Siguro pag binilt nyo pa yung product, of course, madadagdagan yung coverage niya. But then again, don't put too much. Kasi baka mamaya mag-crease yung sa ilalim ng mata mo. Pero if you wanna go for like dun sa parang fresh look lang, I think perfect para sa itong concealer na to. It's not greasy. Wala siyang amoy chemical. It smells like sunblock na parang fresh. I think with this one, hindi ko na kailangan mag-powder kasi ang fresh niya. Pero mag-work ba to? Kung itatapat natin sa weather natin ngayon which is sobrang init, I think kung sobrang init, kailangan mo mag-very, very light na powder. Ngayon kasi nasa loob ako ng room so naka-aircon tayo ngayon and napakaganda ng texture niya kapag nasa malamig na lugar. So yun nga lang, I just hope na mas marami pa silang shades na tong concealer na to kasi definitely gusto ko yung formula niya. Again, just a quick recap, kitang-kita nyo naman, medium coverage lang siya. Meron pa rin akong imperfections pero these days kasi, di ba, kaya nga nauso yung parang lumilitaw yung mga freckles kasi parang before, imperfection yung magkaroon ng freckles. Pero ngayon kasi, we are starting to learn how to accept our flaws which is maganda. So I think hindi mo naman kailangan ng sobrang full 
full na full na full na coverage na concealer if you're going for a natural look. But then don't get me wrong, I still love full coverage concealers, lalo na pag gumagawa ako ng mga pang malakasang glam o kaya yung pupunta ako ng event. Pero if I'm just going to the mall, kunyari wala ng ECQ, parang ganito lang yung gusto kong look. Gusto ko lang fresh look. And again, I think matagal mo tong magagamit. Hindi nakalagay kung ano yung net weight ng product na to, pero for 112 pesos, sobrang tagal mo tong magagamit. Original price niya 160 pesos. It's still not bad. If you're gonna compare that dun sa mga concealers ng drugstore ngayon, napakamahal ng concealer. Walang bababa ng 200 pesos sa concealer. So I think kung meron kang gustong i-shopping sa Sparkle Cosmetics, idamay mo na to kasi maganda talaga siya. Last lang maka-fresh. If you're mid-tone bordering to pale, I think this will work for you. If your skin tone is deeper than mine, I think magandang gamitin to pang mga full glam para meron kang brightening effect dun sa face mo. Pero if you're gonna use this alone, tapos medyo deep yung complexion mo, I think it's not gonna work dahil medyo maputi pa rin yung darker shade nila, which is 03. So Sparkle Cosmetics, I hope na maglabas pa kayo ng iba pang shades nito kasi napakaganda niya, promise. What do you think, Clove? Am nagustuhan niyo ba yung concealer natin ngayon? Gusto niyo rin ba ng iba pang shades nito? What do you think of the price point? Let me know your thoughts. Sound off down below. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. XXOO Glow Fam, and I'll see you on the next one.